Hi, and welcome to this lesson on determining the order of reaction experimentally. So in the last lesson, we had a look at graphs and how we can determine the order of a reaction with respect to the reactant being investigated using the graph. So we looked at a concentration versus time, and then we looked at a rate versus concentration graph. Both of those are going to help us determine the order. In this session, we're going to look at how we can use the initial rate of reaction when compared to controls to work out the order of reaction with respect to a particular reactant and the overall order of a reaction too. And we'll have a go at practice question as well. We can use something called the initial rates method. So with this, a series of experiments are conducted at a constant temperature. So each experiment is conducted at a different initial concentration or concentrations of reactant. For each experiment, a graph is going to be drawn. So the graph is going to be concentration versus time. So we'll have time on this axis and my concentration over here. And we can calculate the initial rate. So for example, in this particular graph, we can draw a tangent right at the start and calculate that initial rate. By comparing the initial rates, the order of the reaction can be determined. So zero order, we're gonna have a situation where a change in the concentration has no effect on the initial rate, unsurprisingly. Then, for a first order, we've got the concentration. If the concentration is doubled, then the initial rate of reaction is also doubled. And then if it's second order, if we double the concentration, then the initial rate is quadrupled. Again, two to the power of two, for example, so four. So here, I'll quickly summarize it. If I double it, that's why I've got twos there at zero order, then I'll get no change in my rate of my reaction, whereas first order, I, it would also double. Whereas with second order, we would get two to the power of two. So we'd get it being quadruple the rate. Here's a practice question to have a go at. Pause the video and give it a go. Using this data, the first thing I'm going to do is to identify two experiments where one of the reactants is kept constant, the concentration. So I can see here that the concentration of B for experiments one and two has been kept the same. So that's great. I can now compare and see how, by changing the initial concentration of A, how does that affect my rate? And so I can determine the rate with respect to A. I can see here that as the concentration of the initial concentration of A, it's increasing by three times, isn't it? Going from 0 0.12 to 0 0.36. And what's happened to my rate? Well, I might need to use a calculator here, but I can see that the initial rate increases by a factor of nine. OK, so I've had a three times increase, three to the power of two is nine therefore the order of reaction with respect to a must be second order so looking at this i found two where my initial concentration of b is the same but i don't have a situation where the initial concentration of a is the same so i'm gonna to have to take a slightly different approach to find out the order with respect to b what i can see here though is that here what I do know about A is it's second order. So moving from here to here, if I have a doubling of my rate, because it's second order, I would expect a quadruple. So this number here to quadruple. But what actually happens is we have a doubling, okay? So this is just a doubling, so it's just times two. So the rate doubles between experiments two and three. So what does this mean? So we were expecting it to quadruple, but it only doubled. So this is 
B is clearly affecting the rate, and we can see that it's reduced it by a factor of two. And we can see from the table that the concentration of B has decreased also by a factor of two. So this is telling us that the rate of reaction with respect to B is first order. So we've worked out the order with respect to A and B. Now we want to work out the overall. So we worked out that A was second order and that B was first order. So the overall order of reaction is three, third order.